Hi, everybody. I am so excited to be with you today. And I'm especially excited because I get to talk to you for a few minutes about one of my absolute favorite products. So I'm going to be talking about the adaptive blend. If you haven't used this yet and you're not familiar with it, I am so excited for you because you have something wonderful to discover. And we're going to talk about why. We're going to talk a little bit about this blend, how it was conceived, how it was formulated, how it works, how it's been tested. I'm going to try and give you some information and hopefully not overwhelm you because there's a lot, but I, I hope you get the sense of how unique of a product this is and get some ideas of how you might be able to use it in your life, in your family, and especially how you might be able to talk about it and share it. So let's dive right in. Adaptive Blend was launched here in the US very recently. Um, it's less than a year old. Uh, it was conceived in the minds of the doTERRA scientists actually several years ago. This blend took multiple years of development because we wanted to make sure that we had something that really worked, right? It's, it's a process that we go through every time we're making a new essential oil blend and really even the essential oil singles. We have to think about what do we want this blend to do? How are we going to achieve that with the essential oils? What kind of research do we need to take a look at in order to support what those oils are doing? And then how are we going to test it to make sure it's actually working? So let's talk a little bit about each of those steps and I'll kind of tell you and, and walk you through what happened. So again, several years ago, the scientists at doTERRA were just kind of thinking, what, what are we lacking? What, what does doTERRA need in terms of a product? What would be helpful? And, you know, we're scientists. We are as stressed out as anyone. And so it just made sense for us to think in terms of handling stress, handling anxiety and anxious feelings and, you know, supporting mental health. And so that's kind of how it was born, I think, out of our own stress as much as anything else. But we just started thinking, what if we could have an essential oil blend specifically for dealing with you know, feeling stressed every day? This is something that we all deal with. I mean, this is part of our human condition. We feel stress every day, most of us and sometimes extreme stress for long periods of time. Now, we knew that we wanted this blend to, we started out by developing the aromatic blend, and this is uh, what we'll be talking about today. And it was a really good fit for this blend to be aromatic, and here's why. The olfactory system, the olfactory system here, is very closely tied to the brain right, to systems in the brain. And by having an aromatic blend, we can tap very quickly and very directly into some of our brain systems. Now, think about that for a second. Some of our most powerful memories are probably tied to aroma. And there's a good reason for that. We are hardwired. We have been evolved to be able to quickly recognize, sense aromas in the areas around us, process those in our brains, and then have that help tell our bodies what to do. How, how is what I'm smelling telling me about how I'm going to now interact with my environment, right? This is part of our survival. We had to, early on as human beings, be able to um, smell things, see things too, but I think smell even maybe more powerfully. Smell things, understand what it meant for us for survival in our environment, and then adapt to it. So in, in making this blend, this aromatic blend, for helping us be able to adapt to and deal with our circumstances, our daily stressors, this was a perfect fit. So again, we, we were working by, by that premise 
by being able to tap into the power of the olfactory system, tie it into the brain, right? And it ties in directly to the areas of the brain that help us process memories and process emotions. And really it helps us be able to um, manage stress, okay? So we're tapping into these areas directly through that olfactory system. It's a very, very powerful and fast acting system. What a better fit, right? We were so excited about that. Now, let's talk just very briefly, just to kind of set this up a little bit. What happens when you're under stress? What is going on inside of your body? So you get floods of chemicals that are coming through you, and these chemicals are spurring your body onto action. So cortisol is one of our main stress chemicals. Cortisol is important to us. You might have heard it get kind of a bad rap and you know everyone's oh cortisol is bad but no cortisol is good cortisol helps our body be able to quickly adapt to stressful situations and it does that by you know slowing down or you know suppressing systems that aren't as important in that very moment when we're faced with you know an important stressful situation so things like immunity and things like digestion and you know things like reproduction these are all kind of put on the back burner for a minute while we're under stress you know and you think about it in terms of the last time you had this very acute stressful moment someone cut you off in traffic or you slipped and fell down a couple of stairs or something like that what did you feel think about that you probably felt your heart start to beat faster you probably felt your muscles start to just get this surge of energy. You might have broken out into a sweat. All of these things were your body's absolutely rapid response to a stressful situation. Cortisol is one of the chemicals that's helping make that happen. There are others, but we'll, we'll kind of focus on that one for a minute. Now, that is a good response for a situation in which you need to respond quickly, in which you need to swerve your car to avoid a crash, in which you need to grab onto something to keep yourself from falling down more stairs or, you know, something like that. That is how our bodies quickly adapt to stressful situations. And it's good. It's important. We have to be able to do that in order to survive. Now, think about that, though. For those of us who are stressed on a daily and hourly and moment by moment basis all the time, is it a good thing? to have our immune system suppressed and our digestive system suppressed and to have you know all this cortisol pumping through our bodies it's not no it's meant to be a very acute in the moment deal with the immediate stress and then calm back down kind of a system that's how our bodies work optimally for many of us that's not how it works in real life we are stressed from our families, from our jobs, from our finances. And we keep those levels of cortisol higher than they should be because we're feeling stress. And our bodies sometimes can't distinguish between stress from a report that's overdue and stress from, oh my gosh, I'm about to crash. And so it's not able to keep that balance of I'm responding to stress and now I'm calming back down. We're just always up here, stressed all the time. So with that in mind, that's how we wanted to approach this adaptive blend. How can we help our bodies retain that balance? How can we help bring those levels of cortisol back into a more um, common, uh, not common, a more um, even level? Can we teach, can we reteach our bodies to adapt to situations in healthy ways and keep that balance more regularly? So that when we're feeling stress, when we're having stresses in our lives, we can um, deal with it in more healthy ways. We can support our, what our bodies do so very well, we can kind of almost retrain it of how to do that. So, we knew that this oil blend had to be something pretty special. It had to be something different than anything we had really ever done before. It needed to be very powerful, but it needed to be gentle. 
right? If we're, if we're dealing with anxiety, we have to be able to calm that down, but not to the level that now we can't function. We still have to be able to be focused and do what we need to do. It just needs to be done in a more calm way. We need to tell our bodies it's okay. You can handle this. You don't need to be stressed out right now. This is my, my way of supporting you. That's what we're telling our bodies when we're using this. So we went to the signs. That's one of the ways we, we always are doing our essential oil blends. We go to the science that's been done on essential oils. And we looked specifically at essential oils that are excellent for managing stress and anxiety. And, but at the same time, kind of helping to modulate this lower end too. Because sometimes after you've been stressed for so long, you almost hit the opposite end of the spectrum where now you run into depression, you run into feeling low and blue and sad and you can't seem to get out of that rut. So we have people on both ends of the spectrum and we thought, is there a way that essential oils can help go like this and bring us back into some kind of level, some kind of balance, homeostasis, some way of dealing with that that is adaptive, right? Kind of helping us come down if we're a little too high, helping us come up if we're a little too low. That was the goal. So we started looking into essential oils and we have a lot to choose from. And we thought, let's see if there are others out there too that might be a good fit for this, something new. So as you're looking at the ingredient list of the adaptive oil blend, some of them might be familiar to you. Some of them might not be so familiar because we wanted to look for essential oils that would fit the bill, even if we didn't already have them as part of our doTERRA offering. So look, Looking at that, right, we, were, we wanted to, to take from different categories of essential oils and let them now work in harmony. And that, that might sound easy, but it was harder than you would think because sometimes you can have oils based on the best possible science that's out there and you put them together and they smell not so good. In fact, they can smell pretty awful together. So that was the other challenge. We had to get something that actually smelled amazing that people would be happy to use and be excited to use. So looking at the ingredient uh, list, lavender, you're going to see pretty high on the list. That's, that should be pretty familiar to everybody. Lavender is one of our strongest and most powerful essential oils for helping calm things when we're anxious and stressed out, right? It's got the chemistry linalool and linalool acetate. These two together are really powerhouses in terms of helping our brains and our nervous systems calm down. So we knew we had to have that one for sure. Wild orange, that one, it's got some actually great research aromatically. Um, people have diffused it in places that tend to be high stress, doctor's offices and dentist offices and before surgery and things like that. And there's a number of great research that supports orange, wild orange essential oil, helping to modulate the mood, helping to, again, be very supportive, like lavender, of bringing that mood more into balance. Again, it's chemistry, limonene, so very different from the chemistry of lavender, but it works in different mechanisms. And as you smell this, as you smell wild orange, many of the citruses, but wild orange is just one of my absolute favorites, you can feel at least it, pay attention because you probably can feel. I can feel when I smell it. Everything just kind of gives a sigh like, okay, I'm all right. My mood is okay. My stress, whew, we're just going to bring it down a minute. It's, it's a breath, a, a sigh of relief. So those two, we knew we had to have them. And then we started to get a little bit more specialized in our essential oils. So Copaiba, you might be familiar with. Its main constituent, beta caryophylline excellent for really, I, I think of it as the homeostasis oil. I, it, it can interact with many systems of the body, and I, it really just kind of helps bring everything into balance. So we knew we wanted that one. Um, spearmint, again, might be a little bit of a surprise to people because 
peppermint is often used to, you know, energize and uplift. But spearmint, it has entirely different chemistry. Limonene is actually one of its main components too, but its very main component is a constituent called carvone. And Carvone has some good research for showing that it is good at relaxing without making you feel sleepy. It's a way that you can kind of, again, just have that sigh of, okay, I'm taking a minute. I'm feeling more relaxed. And, you know, of course, the aroma of spearmint, of all the single essential oils, this is probably one of my top five. Spearmint is amazing, really. So we wanted that one to be in the blend too. Now you can see we're kind of building layer upon layer of the benefits of these oils that are working from different ways, but kind of all directed in a similar way to help with that, those feelings of anxiety, feelings of you know, being too low or too high. Magnolia, oh, magnolia. Again, one of my very favorites. This one is a powerhouse for linalool. We talked about linalool um, as being in lavender. Magnolia has it too. So it's kind of another dose of that with a whole complex chemistry that's different than lavender. So we're kind of adding layer and complexity upon layer and really making this essential oil blend this wide array of, of constituents that really can all work from different directions. How about rosemary? This has got some great research in terms of um, helping to focus the mind helping to kind of get rid of some of that uh, excess noise and worry. So we wanted that to be in there too. Plus it's got a really great um, sort of grounding kind of aroma, a little bit earthy. So this was an excellent addition to the blend. And then neroli, great limonene. We've got some more uh, linalool. It's, this is an excellent, um, a little bit uplifting essential oil. Neroli is. That kind of helps us from the other end of coming this direction. And finally, this is the one that you might not be as familiar with, Suica. This was a brand new one. This is the first blend that Sweet Gum has ever been in. Now, we were very excited to find this essential oil because it had a chemistry unlike anything we had ever seen. It was um, kind of like if Copaiba and Douglas fir and frankincense all had a baby. And that was the chemistry of the sweet gum. So it had some beta caryophylline in it. It had some alpha pinene in it. It had some beta pinene in it. It just had this amazing supportive chemistry. And if you know anything about the pinenes, these are the chemicals that trees in the forest give off. You're walking through the forest, you're smelling that amazing aroma. Those are pinings in nature that you're smelling. And there have been a number of studies that have been done showing that just walking through the forest and smelling the forest air can help you. It's supportive to your health and to your mood. And so when we found the sweet gum with the chemistry of a forest, it was just a wonderful fit for the adaptive product. So, we had all of our lineup. We had all these oils that we finally kind of narrowed it down to. We had to narrow it down a lot because there were a number of oils that could have gone in this blend. But we found these oils. We started blending them together. And, you know, sometimes as we're doing blend development, we go through hundreds, literally hundreds of iterations. It doesn't smell quite right. This is too strong. Let's try this at less. Let's swap out this oil for that oil. And we did go through a number of iterations for Adaptive too, but it was amazing how well these came together. Honestly, I was surprised because we had picked these based on their science and based on their benefits, but I was a little bit nervous if they were going to come together or not and actually smell like something delicious because some of them are a little bit aggressive. I'll be honest. Rosemary, it's a very strong aroma, but I love it and we knew we needed it. And it fit perfectly. So we were thrilled to get this bottle of essential oil blend and go, this is our adaptive. This is it. Now, does it work? That was the other question. 
once we go through all the science and we go through all the blending and we go through all the perfection and we you know have everyone in the department smell it and we've got something that we're confident in okay we, we like this blend does it work so that's where we got to go to work and actually do some testing on this adaptive blend we knew that we we had to test it in ways that captured people's stress and it's a little bit hard to do i'll be honest with you it's a little bit hard to do in clinical research to simulate the kind of stress that we have on a daily basis right sometimes it's hard to feel stressed in the same way you know in a clinical trial as you would in real life so we thought and thought about how we might be able to test this and we finally decided let's test this as though people are taking uh, an exam and you know if, if you remember back to school or if you're in school right now you know when you go in to take an exam that can be a very stressful event at least it was for me i remember going and taking my test in college and just sometimes literally sweating because i was so stressed so we thought okay can we have people take a test and you know we'll have a big countdown timer that's showing the time ticking down and We'll be measuring their temperature and their um, pulse rate, and we'll make the questions really hard. We try to think of ways that we could encourage that stress safely in our people. We didn't want them to be too stressed and have problems, but we, we knew we wanted healthy people and we wanted to have them feel a little bit of stress. And then we had them take two tests, one test in a room where there was adaptive diffusing and one test in a room where there was just water diffusing. And we didn't even tell them about the diffusers at all. Some people noticed, but most people didn't. We wanted the adaptive to just be working in their, in their minds, working in the background. They could smell it, but not really identify it kind of a thing. What would happen? We hoped, we hypothesized that the adaptive would help them perform better on the test, but even more importantly, that the adaptive would help them feel less anxious and less stressed as they took the test, All right? So this was just a small pilot study initially. We had about 60 people, well, so fairly, fairly good size, not huge, but about 60 people taking both of these tests, one placebo of just the water and then one with the adaptive diffusing. And what did we find? We found that they actually did perform a little bit better. Those who were smelling the adaptive performed a little bit better when they were taking the test with the adaptive than they did when they were taking the test with the placebo. And I should explain, this was two different versions of pretty much the same test, same types of questions, very similar questions, but they were a little bit different. So we could really measure how they performed. Now, even more importantly, when we asked them, they filled out a survey, we asked them, how did you feel? while you were taking this test. Those who were in the room with the adaptive reported feeling less anxious. They reported feeling less stressed. They reported feeling better overall, like better able to concentrate, better able to think when they had the adaptive diffusing. So we thought, that's it, it works. We were so excited to see that because it really gave some validation, some clarity to that adaptive blend. And it gave us confidence that we had something that really did capture the essence of what we were looking for, of a way that people could use this blend in real life, in real situations, and be able to help feel less stressed and better able to cope with what life throws at you. So in the time that, in the time since adaptive has been launched, so again, in the US it's been uh, not even a year, it's very new. But we've had so many people report that adaptive is kind of how they get through the day, how they help handle the stressful things that are thrown at them. This has become one of the oils that I carry around with me in my purse. We'll be in the car sometimes and my kids will just be going crazy for whatever reason, you know, maybe they're hungry, maybe they're stressed out. Maybe they are bored of being in the car. 
I get out the adaptive and pass it around. We take a few minutes of deep breathing and of mindfulness and you would just not believe the change. I can't believe the change. It's amazing. So that, that's a couple of the ways that we use it. Let's talk about some more, a few more practical ways as well. Adaptive, there are two forms of it. There's one form in a 15 ml bottle that's the straight essential oil blend. This is excellent for diffusing. And this is one that we put in our diffuser during the past few months when the pandemic has been going on, um, this has been a lifesaver. I, I, it's hard to even put into words how much adaptive has gotten us through. It's been a very stressful time for me, for my family, and it's kind of become a daily ritual to um, diffuse that adaptive, to smell it, to just calm down at certain times of the day. I would say the, the 10 ml touch the adaptive blend that's already in the carrier oil, I might use that even more maybe than, than the diffusing because it's so convenient. This roll-on bottle, um, I don't have it with me because it's, it's in my purse, but I carry this and we use it a lot. So, you know, we've, we've been having to wear our face masks as we got into public. I've told my kids, take a little bit of the adaptive oil, put it on your face mask. And they do. And they, they're like, oh, mom. That smells so good. And they can feel a difference. They're less stressed out. They're less anxious. They have a little bit more clarity about you know, what they want to do, what they need to do to, in order to finish up their school and finish up all their tasks and chores and things like that. I don't think maybe we know how stressed out our kids are these days, but they are stressed. And in using this in my own family, both diffusing it and in using the topical application, we have found amazing results. So let me give you just one more suggestion. We have seen incredible power in using the adaptive oil blend in conjunction with some kind of uh, meditation or mindful practice, yoga, um, just even deep breathing practices. These are all very powerful on their own because it encourages you to you know, bring that stress level down, to focus the mind a little bit. And adaptive amplifies the power of those practices in amazing ways. We've heard both anecdotal reports and we actually have data that we're working on compiling from a study that we've been doing on this. So. Stay tuned because we hope to have that data finalized very soon, but it has been absolutely amazing to see how well this blend works. And again, we're, we're harnessing the power of that olfactory system into the brain to send a message to the body. Let's now adapt. Let's adapt to these circumstances and let's come back into balance. You know, every, everything's okay. The adaptive is kind of my my oil that I put on in the morning to get ready for what I know, you know, I'm, I've got so many things to get done. And when I do that, when I take a moment, I, when I breathe, and I put my adaptive on, I feel like I'm ready to go out and conquer my day. And during the day, you know, I'll diffuse my adaptive in the office. I'll roll a little bit more onto my wrists and, you know, rub and smell at lunchtime, and then in the evening, some massages, some hand massages um, with my kids as I'm putting them to bed as they're talking about their day. We have found so many ways to incorporate this oil blend into our day, and it is, it, it works for us and for so many people. And this is why we're so excited to talk about this today, to be able to bring this to you. I hope you find but this is one of the new favorite oil blends for you and for your family. I hope that you get a chance to experience that power for yourself and that you're able to help your body support those natural, those natural processes of handling stress and then coming back to kind of a set normal level, feeling more balanced. 
feeling more adaptable to whatever life throws at you. So I hope this has been helpful. And we, we would love to hear feedback. We'd love to hear your stories about how you're using adaptive and how you've seen it work with yourself, with your, your downlines, with your neighbors and friends. We take these very seriously and we're excited to hear them. And it always continues to drive our product development. So we are very mindful of our users and of people who might need things. And this is one of the ways that we hope to have answered that. And I hope that it makes your life even better. We hope that you love the Adaptive Blend. Thank you so much for taking some time to listen. And I wish you all the very best.